Hey everyone, so this is our first lesson on C++. Uh, it's about output and hello world. So I hope everybody is able to install uh, Visual Studio without any issues. So to create your first project, the first thing you do is click File, New, and Project. So that's creating a new project. You create an empty project. You call it uh, whatever you want. So our first lesson, for example. Um, after that loads, you're going to go to source over here. Shouldn't take a long time. Mm. Okay, so the files. Right click, add a new one. So that way you have a C++ file, which is a sort of file we're doing. You can call it whatever you want under here. Then you click add. Okay. Uh, so there are some things that any you can write whatever code you want. There are some things that you have to include in every single one of your code uh, for you to make it work. Later, we could uh, explain a little bit better exactly what each one of them does. But just know that you have to include them for you to make your code work. So uh, is this things over here? I uh, already met one with them included. So include ice stream. Include using namespace std and with a function int main and you always have to return something in the function so return zero uh, okay so what we're going to do today is how to use c out so the c in c out it stands for console uh, and this is used when you want to display text to the users so you can display that uh, whatever you want you can display strings which are um, words like sentences you can display numbers you can display uh, true or false values you can display anything and those are variables um, and to do that you use this insertion operator over here um, and anything written after that will be shown to the user and the text that you want to be shown in the user has to be used in quotation marks so here's an example that uh, we're showing so why don't we try that you we agree so uh, let's start with C out. Um, I love chocolate. So you always have to include um, the semicolon after any sentences to make sure that your code works. So before you can actually run, uh, well, before you can actually run, you have to add something else to make sure that you're able to see the code on the screen. There's nothing wrong with this. Uh, you're just not going to be able to see it. So you have to include something else up here. So pound include conair.h. That's very important because then after you can include get ch. Okay. Uh, and what this is going to do, it's going to make sure that the code remains on the screen. It's not going to just run and then disappear. So then you click the play uh, so that the code runs. And here it would show you any issues. Uh, it's not working. <laughs> hey everyone, this is our first lesson on C++ on outputs and hello world. I hope nobody had any issues downloading um, Visual Studio. So how you make your first program, the first thing you do is you go to File, New, you click Project, so you can make a new project. You click on Empty Project. And you create the name of your first project. So let's call ours Hello World. Hello World. Okay, you click OK. And it's going to load. Shouldn't take that long. And over here, the source files, you right click that and you click Add, New Item. And then this new item is where it's you're going to be writing your code. So you pick the C file. You can call it whatever you want. Click Add. And then here is the place where you can write your first code. Uh, so, as we showed you in the lesson, there are some very specific things that you have to include uh, on every one of your program. We're going to explain later exactly what each one of them does, but this is basically it. So, I already inputted it, I already wrote all of this right here. Uh, but we can make a little some tweaks to work specifically for what we want. So I'm also going to include something else, uh, which I definitely recommend doing. So include conio.h, okay? 
And I'm also going to change this int main because with an int main, that means that we have to return an int. Okay, that's what it does with the int. So a way for us not to have to do that, we can do a void main. It doesn't have to return anything. So we can just take this return out of the way and worry about um, returning stuff on the future. So to make sure that our code stays on the screen and doesn't immediately just disappear after you, you run it, you have to include something called getch. So um, you do the little underline getch, the parenthesis, and you put this on the end to make sure that your code stays there. So what we're learning from this lesson is CF. So the C stands for console, and CF is used to display any text that you want to the users. So you always have to use this insertion operation over here for the CF. And anything that's written after is going to be shown to the user. But if you want to write a text, you have to write it in quotation marks. So let's do an example with I like chocolate. So we go over here. Uh, see out the insertion operator. I like chocolate. Then in the end, uh, every time you write uh, a code, you have to, well, almost every time, you have to use the semicolon in the end. And then you save and you press play. So it runs your code, it debugs it, it shows any arrows down here. But it works. It says, I like chocolate. You displayed it to the user. Now let's try, try some other stuff. Oh, let's suppose, what if I want to skip some lines, right? I don't even have to do another line for that. So I just do more of these, more of the insertion operators, put endl. That's what you put when you want to skip line. So let's say I want to skip two lines, and then I want to write some somewhere. Um, my brother hates chocolate. Then don't forget to write the semicolon in the end, and then we press play. Mm. And it displays both of them. Uh, that's how it skipped lines. And because of the two dollars that I put in. Uh, if you don't put those, the code is just going to show up like exactly glued right next to it. Let me show you. And you usually don't do that because you want at least some space between what you wrote. See, there's not even a space between the point and the next line. So, this is the example that we're showing you that we want you to give it a shot. So, try to output hello world in your own. So, remember what we said about using next lines? You can, there's another way of doing it, is by using uh, slash n inside the string itself. So, if we come over here and I want to do that, uh, I go slash Oops, wrong slash. Give it a shot. And then, as you can see, that also is another way of skipping a line. So, I hope you guys understood this lesson. Uh, see you next time.